Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a beautiful Monday or whenever you are watching this video. If you came across this video, this message is for you. So I want you to think of something that you are wanting to seek guidance on, something that you might be stressing out about, something that, you know, is um, just making you feel a little bit anxious or it can be something good you know it can be something positive and you're just like I want to know how are things going to turn out or what does spirit want to tell me about this particular uh, subject person or place right so we have option number one two and three remember that these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind do not forget to subscribe and join our beautiful family here on youtube um, do not forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload all my information, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, website, all of that is always in the description box below along with the timestamps. So with that being said, let's start with pile number one. So pile number one, let's see. What is your message? The vast universe, okay? Adjustments are required. New beginnings, okay? Seems very positive. Truth. Six of Cups. The King of Pentacles and Breath. And then we have here, law is not justice, rules are not fair. Okay, pile number one. There's something here that I feel personally that you feel like something was not given to you. Something happened that was just not fair. Okay, and what I'm getting here is there is a sense of disappointment, right? I feel like you were looking forward towards something. You've been preparing for a while. You're just like, I, you know, I'm ready for this. And all of a sudden this situation happens and there's adjustments that need to be made. It's kind of like you were ready to become this. This is looking like a cat, but it's not a cat but I saw a cat. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. So I do feel here that you were just feeling very independent about the situation. Okay. You were just like, yeah, I'm ready to take that leap. I'm ready to take that jump. Let's go. I'm the king of pentacles. You know, I'm ready. I have the resources. I have the money. I, you know, I'm feeling confident. I have people backing me up. Like there's, I'm just getting like, I've planned everything out i budgeted i you know planned everything to a t and all of a sudden something happens that it's just like it's not fair you know it's not fair but what i'm getting here from your guides is actually this is a blessing in disguise you might not see it that way especially you know if you were planning out resources if you were you know gathering stuff up if this is something you've been working and planning towards and everything just kind of falls through what I'm getting is breathe, 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 relax. Okay, there is a new beginning. Your new beginning is not lost. It's there. You're just going to have to make some adjustments in the process. And this is also triggering the way you're looking at it. It's triggering your perspective about the situation. What I'm getting here is for a lot of you, it's triggering that lack mentality within you and they're saying use this opportunity to remind yourself that the universe is vast that um, there is infinite potential and that your needs are always taken care of that you're not alone okay spirit wants to gift you something better than this beginning that you were currently going to go through okay i know right now it felt like it's a big thing it felt like you know it, it was um it was the best course of action but in reality your guys are saying there's something better for you there is something better and even though this did cause like a ruckus and some type of like an upheaval i'm getting from your guides that things will move for you very soon okay they will 
For a lot of you, I am getting you wanted this new beginning, particularly with an earth sign, someone from the past, okay, or someone you have children with. And again, it, it didn't work through. And you guys are saying it's not that it, it's a failed <clears throat> situation because it's not. Not all is lost. There's just adjustments that need to be made. That's all. And I feel like you are going to get to being the king of pentacles. Because for a lot of you, this could be around a work situation, your finances. You know, it's it's this energy of like, I want a new beginning in a career. I want a new beginning um, when it comes to my money. For others of you, maybe you were expecting an offer from like a lawsuit or something. And you were hoping that it was going to be done and dealt with. But it turns out that, you know you had to kind of you didn't like what was being offered and so you kind of had to um i forgot i lost the word go back counter offer whatever it's called sorry if i'm not using the right words but i feel like you had to go back and be like no that's not i deserve more than that and that's the thing that spirit is saying. Whatever it is that you feel like fell through, spirit is saying it's not in alignment with your truth and you deserve better. Because in some way, I feel like you were settling. Because of this energy of impatience. Because of this energy of like things are not fair, things are not balanced. So as long as things get moving, as long as there's income coming in or as long as there is, you know, um, stability or balance coming in, even if it's not what I want it... It will allow some type of respite. It will allow some type of feeling better, right? Feeling like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm getting things done. But your guides are saying there's something better for you. Yeah, pile no number one. There's something better here. And even though right now it seems like an injustice, it's really not. It's really not. Now I'm going to pull <clears throat> one of these cards here it's called the white light oracle by alana fairchild but i am going to read from the guidebook because this deck is brand new but i'm going to do this for every pile so additional message for pile number one again this is the white light oracle by alana fairchild so we have theta of venus Okay, I believe that came out in today's IG post. So if you don't follow me there, uh, maybe there's a message for you there, actually. Because I do believe that is the mess that is the card that we got. So this card talks about Wow, you are ready for a higher understanding to see things in a new and more positive light. Allow your inner knowing to guide you on a unique, beautiful, and highly spiritual life path. Yes, I feel here like spirit is telling you, you either have an option to look at things from fear or doubt or judgment, or you can either change your perspective and try to see things from a more positive light. Pile number one. Everything is unfolding within the protective grace of divine love, even if sometimes it appears not to be so. Yeah. So for a lot of you right now, it might look like things are not moving forward for you. And I feel like you're, you're like, this isn't fair. Like I, I you know, I want to move forward too. I want to be the king of pentacles as well. You know, I want to be stable. I want to have resources. I you know, I want to feel financially secure for a lot of you because you have children with the Six of Cups, right? Your guides are saying breathe, relax. There is a new beginning coming in. Remember that the universe is vast. And with this new beginning that is coming in, there will be some adjustments that will be required. But just know that you have everything that you need to make these adjustments, okay? So breathe, relax. Things are coming your way. Pile number one. So if it resonated, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Pile number two. Let's see, what is your message? 
Wow, great achievement. Okay, something that you that okay, something that you currently did or that you just started cuz this feels like for a lot of you you already experienced this great achievement. For others of you, you're about to experience this great achievement. There's a huge milestone here, pile number 2. There's like a big event here. Something is happening and you're the main, you're like the star of the show. I don't know. I'm get hold on. I'm gonna look at the other cards. What do you need to release? Life purpose. Wow, pile number two. Peace. The seven of wands. The nine of pentacles. Power. And then we got manage to be glad, create your own happiness regardless of conditions, pile number two. Okay, pile number two. There's a big achievement that's coming in. For a lot of you, this might be something that you're currently working towards. Like you want to be financially independent with this nine of pentacles energy. For a lot of you, you have your own business and you're like, I want to be the nine of pentacles. You know, I want to be on my way to empress energy regardless of gender. For a lot of you, there's a big achievement when it comes to your life purpose. I feel here that your guides are telling you um, there is a lot of power. There's a lot of energy backing you up, but I'm also getting there was a sudden lightning. There was a sudden epiphany. Something here in regards to your life purpose came to mind like a big epiphany and i feel like you guys are saying take action in regards to this um, idea that you have because this is linked to your life purpose okay but i feel like there is doubt i feel like there is defensiveness here that needs to be released i feel like your guides are wanting you to know that there is peace coming that the confusion will clear up for you For a lot of you, this is an achievement that is barely coming your way. That's what I'm getting. And it has to do with finances. It has to do with money. Okay, so I feel like this is like une unexpected in a way. Because that's what it feels like. For a lot of you, this could be in regards to a home, pile number two. There's a new beginning. For a lot of you, maybe you're purchasing your home. Sorry for the noise upstairs. I don't know what they are doing. Um... <laughs> sorry <laughs> so i feel like a lot of you regardless of the distractions i feel like you've you stayed on track pile number two with your life purpose and i feel here that this is putting you in a position of power this is putting you in a position of such clarity and peace that you are coming out on top and I feel like you, this is being showcased by your finances. So for a lot of you, maybe you are receiving your, I don't know, your tax documents or something like this, your W-2 forms, and you're like, wow, I didn't make that bad. Something like that. Okay, for a lot of you, there's a message of money coming in. There's a message of a new opportunity that's coming your way that it is in um, correlation to your life purpose for a lot of you you want to create um this class okay this class or this pamphlet or something in regards to financial independence something with money with finances a law of attraction something like this is what i'm getting and i feel like this is part of your life purpose to empower others to become this nine of pentacles okay for a lot of you, I feel like you've managed a lot. You've managed a lot of upheavals. You've remained grounded is what I'm getting here, pile number two. For a lot of you, again, yeah, you've managed to, to remain happy even through all the releasing that you've been doing, even through all this lightning and this, you know, emotional roller coaster. I feel like you've managed to stay on top. You manage to stay confident. You manage to just stay on track and remain in your peace. And because of this, I feel like there is an amazing achievement. And I feel like you don't even, you're not even aware of what this is. Yeah, there's a message, you guys, that's coming in. 
okay there's a message coming in um, in regards to finances or a career or job opportunity something that is linked with your life purpose okay something that it's gonna bring in this surge of energy yeah that's gonna put you in a different pathway it's gonna put you in a different path yes and if you are a female this might strongly resonate with you or this message might come from a female as well but i feel like this is you my viewer my main person regardless of gender okay there is change here coming for you yeah there's change there's sudden money and it comes with the new opportunity pile number two And again, it's linked to your life purpose. I feel like as well, conditions may not be as favorable at first. Okay, I feel like there will be adjustments just like pile number one, but yours is more career oriented. And I feel like here there will be adjustments, but you have the upper hand in this situation with the seven of wands. Okay, you know this like the back of your hand. I feel like there will be competition or you might feel like, you know, uh, people are kind of telling you not to do something or that that's not a good idea. But your guides are saying stand in your power because you will come out on top with that nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're expanding. You're going towards distant horizons here. You're getting out of your comfort zone. That's what it is. And I feel like you're dropping this anchor somewhere else and i feel like there's some people that might not like that okay let's see but for a lot of you if you are already fulfilling your life purpose i feel like there's a great achievement coming your way okay there's a huge milestone here i feel like if you've been having financial struggles there is uh, more balance coming in in regards to that i feel like you have been fighting um some obstacles when it comes to your money for sure so let's see i'm gonna pull a card from the white light oracle by alana fairchild just like i did with pile number one if there's anything that needs to be released pile number two i want you to let it go do not resist that let it go with peace okay because there's something beautiful trying to come in for you manage to be glad yes be happy regardless of what you are currently going through because peace is coming in and money is coming in. Spirit is saying count your blessings. Okay, pile number two because I feel like there's a lot to be grateful for. Okay, that's too many cards. So again, this is the White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild. So let's see. Ooh, what did you guys get ivory wish fulfillment crow so for a lot of you you maybe have been seeing crows or maybe you got a message oh shoot sorry something just clicked in my mind um my dad just called me yesterday and told me oh jj i saw a crow outside my window <laughs> So maybe some of you, you get a message like that. Maybe your parent calls you and tells you like, oh, there's a crow. Um, I feel like that might be a sign for some of you or you might see crows, okay, very soon. I feel like there's a wish fulfillment. There's something here you've been trying to achieve. And I feel like with this is coming a lot of peace and a lot of financial stability for you. And I feel like this is a reward because first of all, like I said, you stayed on track on track even though there was distractions or there was opposition okay and you found your happiness and your sense of inner peace even um, even with these harsh conditions so let me read from the guidebook again this is a very new deck for me so i'm going to read from the guidebook the message is you can have what you truly want such Knowledge helps soften and release fear, grasping, control, and doubt. Have confidence that the universe hears your prayers and is even now leading you into that which you seek. You can take sanctuary within your spiritual connection, whether you need stability and protection against the fluctuations of the external world. Remember, 
things are fluctuating around you pile number two but you can stay in your peace you can create your own happiness regardless of these fluctuations that are happening in the external world no matter what is happening around you there is a way through to the fulfillment of your potential so for a lot of you you're seeing something there's something here that you're seeing and it's tangible and you're just like wow I, I did that. You know, I created that. That's that's my achievement right there. Yeah, it's like you're not allowing or spirit is saying do not allow the systems that are in place to hold you or keep you stuck. I feel like you've power number two. What I'm getting is that you have not tried to dominate or manipulate the circumstances to obtain this success. I feel like this is something that is just because you stood in your power and you, you know, you, you did what you needed to do with your purpose. Like you didn't try to manipulate the outside circumstances. It's kind of like a lot of things was hap a lot of things were happening around you and you were just like, you know what, I'm just gonna keep doing me. I'm just gonna keep, you know, fulfilling my purpose, staying in my peace, staying in my lane. And because of this, you're getting this wish fulfillment. Yeah, you were just radiant. Yeah. So that is your message, pile number two. I actually feel like it's a very beautiful, beautiful message. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Pile number three, what is your guidance? Ooh, happy success pile number three you guys always have it like real good i think pile number three a time for healing okay compassion dreams Ooh, the lovers okay six of pentacles wake up call and then we have, you cannot go back to yesterday. You might be seeing a lot of 44s or 444. Four. Um, or you might be a life path number four. Your birthday might land on the 4th or on April. Okay. On the month of April. Sorry. So. What is going on pile number three? I feel for a lot of you, you made a choice. Okay. You've made a choice because you received some type of a wake up call here. Is what I'm getting. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're choosing to move in the direction of your dreams. And I feel like your guides are very, very proud of you, pile number three. Like you, They're very, very proud of you. They're saying you're going to find a lot of success in uh, this path, okay, and following your dreams. I feel for a lot of you, there is a lot of good energy coming back because i'm hearing here pile number three you guys are my light workers you guys are the ones who are definitely helping the collective in some way just because i'm drawn to the world that he's holding in his hands and the six of pentacles is about recip um, reciprocity right giving and receiving but i do feel here pile number three that there is a beautiful um energy coming your way for a lot of you this is a divine connection okay because we do have the lovers so i do have to mention it this is a divine connection that's coming through for a lot of you there is someone um who is wanting to give you an equal give give and take in the connection an equal exchange and wants to offer a lot more healing in this connection this person is being more compassionate towards you and i feel like it's because this person received some type of a wake-up call Okay, and they're like, I don't want to go back to how things were. And this is making you very, very happy. Now, for others of you who are like, no, I'm not dealing with love, JJ. Give me something else. Just know that there is a decision or soon you will be making a decision um, or you will need to be making it. 
you will need to make a decision. Wow, you might trip yourself up with this decision, okay? And what I'm getting here is make sure you choose the path that is leading you towards your dreams and that is making you happy. The path that is going to provide you with a lot of healing because that is where you're going to see the most rewards being given back to you. I do feel for a lot of you, you have or soon will receive a wake-up call, okay? And I feel like this wake-up call is... Um, it's going to tell you or show you that you cannot go back to the way things were. Because I feel for a lot of you, pile number three, is this energy of wanting to go back to something. Wanting to, you know, um, do things like the way they used to be. And your guides are saying no. And for a lot of you, this is you wanting to go back to an old occupation or an old job. Okay? Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to have the choice to try something new to do something new yeah this is something that you've been thinking about this in your thoughts for a lot of you but whatever this decision is i i see you're not taking it lightly pile number three and again i keep hearing from your guides to choose the path that brings you the most happiness for a lot of you you're leaving like a a legal job okay for a lot of you you are legalizing a business okay or some type of like notaria um some type of like legal paperwork that you're filing or something like this is what i'm getting here yeah for a lot of you you're expecting something to come your way you're expecting some type of offer is what i'm getting here yeah, you're expecting some change. And I feel like this change is coming and it's going to make you very, very happy. Pile number three. What is this wake-up call? This wake-up call is the change. This is the change you've been expecting. When this opportunity comes, your guides are saying, yeah, main female and journey. This is your journey. I feel like you're going on a new journey here. And that is your wake up call. And it's kind of like this inner realization of like, I can't go back to how things were. And again, that's that's not a bad thing, you know. But I feel like with this new path or with this change, whether this is something you've been contemplating with the thought card, I feel like it's going to bring in a lot more financial blessings for you because it is a path that is in alignment with your heart and your passions and your dreams. And I feel like with this change, you are going to have to have compassion for yourself because I do feel that you are going to be shedding like an old version of yourself. Pile number three. Because a part of you is going to want, is, is yearning your comfort, is yearning the familiar, is yearning what what is known to you. And I feel like the other part of you, it's just this, um, like, I, but I also want change, right? And I see you conversating this with family members, okay, or people really close to you about the changes that are about to happen because I do feel like these changes do not only affect you, but they do affect the people around you. So whether you have children, husband, wife, um, or you live with others, parents, you know, it affects you and your family unit as well. So I do see you contemplating and having these conversations with loved ones about the new path that you're about to take. And I feel like this is coming in like a like a huge wake up call. And again, if, if at this time, you know, you feel like you need to take time off to contemplate this decision, to sleep on it, go ahead and do so if you have the chance, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like there was delays, but I feel like those delays are coming to an end. Yeah, they just keep saying change. There's change here, pile number three. So if you've been wanting change in your finances, in a relationship, in regards to your dreams, in regards to a home or a family situation, it's coming. Yeah, very similar to pile number two. You're going to distant horizons for sure. And I feel for a lot of you, this wake up call might come from a message that concerns you. Okay, that, that worries you. And I feel like that is when you decide to make these changes in your life. 
distant horizons you guys are seeing me shuffle you guys are going distant horizons i feel like stability i'm reading this like lenormand okay you're just you're deciding to stay to wow stain okay to change your stability yeah okay let's see so with that being said i am gonna pull a white light oracle card by alana fairchild just like i did with the previous piles but just know there's a lot of success there's a lot of happiness coming in be open to receiving this happiness okay there's a lot of healing as well within yourself and also within a connection or with your loved ones I do feel here that there is a lot of positive karma coming in with the six of pentacles. There are gifts, there are donations, there are just a lot of like opportunities for growth and prosperity coming your way. Pile number three and your guides are saying this, this is your time. Wake up. You can't go back to the way things were. Change is needed. You saw that change card come out. It's time for you to go to distant horizons. It's time for you to get out of your comfort zone. It's time for you to take initiation um, towards the things that you've been wanting to change, okay? Or the things that you wanted to start. Your guides are saying take action. Especially around finances is what I'm getting here for you. Pile number three. Okay, so let's see. A card for pile number three. White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Okay. I will be reading from the guidebook. This is a brand new deck. So we got Leish. Wow. Parvati, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Leshla. I am butchering that and I am so sorry. So let's see. Number 32 is five. So again, changes, adjustments, new energy coming in. So this card says there is a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect. Tame the wild and frenzied workings of the mind by grounding yourself with beauty, pleasure, and grace. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of great future happiness. So again, there is a lot of happiness coming in. Stepping into that divine feminine energy, which, you know, talks about being open to receiving, being receptive. There's a lot of material prosperity. There's a lot of as well as success in relationships. If you want to do something with communication or the use of your voice, this will be great as well. For a lot of you, there's a lot of healing in regards to a mother wound or with a feminine in your life. For a lot of you, I'm also getting new life is emerging from a relationship. It's like things were stagnant in a relationship and all of a sudden there is passion. There's like this renewed passion coming in. And this could be within yourself too. And you're just like, I'm not going back to the way things were. And I am moving forward in a different direction towards my dreams. I feel like you're leaving this masculine energy of like planning and, you know, being practical. And you're stepping into this feminine energy of feeling and listening to your heart, listening towards your, um, listening to your goals, your dreams, your passions, your emotions. And allowing that to be your guiding force. And for a lot of you, this is going to take adjustment, adjusting. Because um, I do feel like for a lot of you, you're, you've been very much in this masculine energy. And that's okay. Have compassion as you navigate and as you, you know, transition from being only in this masculine energy into this feminine energy now. You're integrating this feminine energy slowly but surely to bring these two into balance. 
for a lot of you, you're going to experience a lot of emotion because you're stepping into the feminine energy. And this will provide you with a lot of healing. So that is what I have for pile number three. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Take care of yourselves and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.